lot of sounds. Smell delicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever. Wherever y'all at, y'all. I am super excited because I just had my consultation, my sister lock consultation with Tiana, and it could not have went better, y'all. I am super excited about this experience. As y'all can see, I have my two locks in here already, my little sample locks that she put in my head which i'm loving them this is the size that i was looking for so i mean she was so knowledgeable y'all when i tell you i have been studying so much information for months about sister locks and i have watched over hundreds and hundreds of videos of sister locks i mean i've been obsessed with it because i know that i want to make this investment this initial investment into this the sister lock community or being a sis, being sister locked and y'all when i tell you i god could not have chosen the best person for me okay she was very knowledgeable and she even shared some things that a lot of things that she shared i had already researched it so i know she knew what she was talking about but she also gave me uh more nuggets than i you know were was expecting i was like oh, okay i didn't know that i didn't know that but y'all look at these locks y'all see up close i don't know if you don't see up close but i did record her but i didn't put my i didn't put the um camera on her out of respect for her you know what i'm saying but look at that y'all and she was telling me about this um solution to put on my hair my hair right here because i told y'all after i had darius i had kind of a problem area i took some medication they had put me on some medication long story short put me on some medication because they said my um I had an infection or something and so y'all this part of my hair did not grow back but it's not that horrible but listen it's there and this side of course stayed the same so this is how my hair look and y'all see all the gray so she told me i can dye my hair a day before i get my um my install my establishment because that will uh, make my grays my hair be black black you know what i'm saying so that's what i wanted so let me tell you about a little, a little about my consultant. First of all, when I called her, when she called me to get my call back, she was very, very informative. She gave me information, how much the uh, it will cost, um, um, how long, roughly about how much the installment, the loan installment would take, like two days, she said. And she's in Columbus, so I'm going to have to drive two hours away. And so what I'm going to do is get a hotel and stay for two nights. So that I can be comfortable, ready, and very well, you know, uh, very well rested. So I am super excited, y'all. Let me just tell you about Tiana. Tiana, her name is Tiana Hill. She is the CEO of The, the Divine Look. CEO of, the, of A Divine Look. I have her stuff down. She is a cosmetologist um, who specializes in lock services with experience of 10 years and counting. So she has been 10 years strong in this um, game. Um, she's a realtor, a business coach, and um, an educator. And let me, let me say this. She's an entrepreneur because she owns, like, two uh, salons. So I think that is something to talk about. And she's 29. So, yeah, she's doing good. Um, she coaches locticians and, and those interested in her services. So she coaches uh, locticians all over the world. And when, when I tell y'all, she has a lot of classes because it's all on her um, Instagram. There's a lot of um, people that takes her courses for micro locks. So micro lock, micro lock course. And she's, um, she's actually, I don't know. She does a lot of... Uh, I was trying to say something, y'all. My mind went blank. But anyways, she's an advocate for uh, the Sister Lock Speaks. Um, she was featured in the Voyage Ohio magazine, which I read a lot of stuff about her. Um, she was class secretary of her cosmetology program and received many awards. Some of them Student of the Month multiple times, Cosmetologist of the Year Award, and Best Cosmet um, Cosmetology Internship. So, y'all, I couldn't pick the be the, a better person. Well, God couldn't pick the better person for me because I was like, girl, 
Yes, I was so happy when I found her, y'all, because everybody that I was reaching out to was ghosting me. I was like, what? They would send me a, 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 a email and was like, yeah, I can do your hair. Just call back. Uh, I have a lot of clients now. Um, hit me back up in November. Hit me back up in October. Hit me back up. Y'all, I don't hit them back up. I don't hear nothing. Nothing. Okay. So I was like, forget it. And Lord behold, I, I was praying. I said, Lord, please, I need somebody to install this for me. And I promise you, like a week later, I found Tiana, the divine look. And she had, she was even, she's a, a sister lock consultant, but she said she was on the sister lock consultant uh, page. Y'all y'all know where y'all find sister locks who do sister locks in your area. She was on there for six years and then she got, she got off of it because she really wasn't getting any referrals and stuff. And it just so happened I found her because I was like, y'all, it was so hard. But anyways, all in all, I'm glad I found her. And when I found her, like I said, she had a lot of information. These are some of the questions I asked her and y'all will see that in my video. And y'all want me to share some of these questions with y'all. I'm, I'm willing to do that. But I think this kind of information you need to know before you get this done to your head because this is definitely an investment, okay? Okay. Oh, so mine was, okay, my hair, even though it looks kind of a lot of short, short, it was five inches, five inches in some areas, four inches in other areas. She gave me, she's going to give me a, um, email me a paper of my consultation of what we talked about. So she's going to install small to medium locks in my head. So it can give me more fuller look. She gave me, um, she's going to do a sister lock pattern of three. That's what she said. Some of y'all may know what that means because I think they have four patterns, but she's giving me the one that has three because it makes it, your hair look fuller because my hair is not thin, she said. So I'm in the medium part, y'all, because my hair has been getting thicker and thicker every, I promise you, every month it's been getting thicker and thicker since I cut it. So I've been trying. And right now, like I said, it's, when it's uh calmed out or pressed, you know, it's like long, but my stuff draws up so much. But I love these locks. I cannot wait. So she said she's gonna comb these out when I come back. She wanna see how long how they last. She was giving me like using Sabreeze, Sabreeze on your head. I saw that though. Witch Hazel and Sabreeze. So she's gonna give me that. She didn't give me this. She's not gonna give me the sister lock kit, but that's okay. I feel comfortable. I know people say if they don't give you the sister lock kit, you be be uh be careful. Run. I don't have to worry about that with Tiana. I, I feel confident enough to know that she gonna do me right. She wasn't trying to um trying to get over. And then she said she charged thirty five dollars for the um for each hour for the retire. That's cheap. That is cheap, y'all. Thirty five an hour. So that means if I only get two hours or three hours, that's like $115 or no, $105. And I know I ain't going to be in there for three hours with my little short, my little short hair. Or, you know, the longer it get, probably get worse. But, you know, but I don't predict me being in there for hours. And even if I was in the chair for four hours, that's not, you have, I had have to have a lot of hair for four hours. And I don't perceive, I don't perceive, I don't see me foresee foresee me being in the chair that long maybe maybe not you know i don't know so for y'all that don't know this is december december 15th so that's when i have my consultation december 15th and she is so booked and i'm so happy that she squeezed me in because first she wasn't gonna get me in to march i don't know if somebody canceled or what but she was able to get me in a month earlier which is a blessing. And y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm gonna be rocking these bad boys. I'm gonna be rocking these bad boys. Yes, I am. I can't wait. And I wanna give me some jewelry. I wanna give me some, uh, I know it may not be, not, may not look like I want to look, but trust and believe. I'm doing everything. And then she told me, Tiana shared like, when you washing your hair, don't wash it in a shower. Don't get in a shower when you first get your um, locks established because is I guess a, the pressure from the shower can put a lot of pressure on your hair. You want to be very gentle with it so it won't reach uh, untie and unravel. 
and stuff so i thought that was really good but anyways i just thought i'd share that with y'all and should I tell y'all how excited I am? I can't even talk. It feel like sometimes I be like, my words be in my head so much that I be trying to uh, relay the message and my, it just go, it be, dang, my phone be going off all the time. It, I can't even talk, y'all. Oh, I think she sent me a message. See, this is so nice. She said, thank you again for the opportunity. You will receive your review in 24 to 48 hours. It was nice meeting you. Let me know if you have any questions. She is so sweet. I like that because she's very uh, uh, attentive, very sweet, very knowledgeable. The woman has a lot. For her to be 29, y'all, and have that much experience is very impressive to me. You know, and I know I'm in good hands. Because God don't never steer me wrong. God don't never steer me wrong. So I know I'm in good hands, y'all. And I'm super excited about this process. I think this is one of the most, the best thing that could have happened to me by um, getting my locks installed. I told y'all, my sister told me about it. In the video, her this today. She just got hers retied, retied done. But y'all, I'm excited. Anyways, y'all got to go. I'm, I'm up there talking to y'all and let me go park my car. Oh, I'm going to have to go around now because I done just came in here. But anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. I don't know if I'm going to put this in another video or whatever, but yep, this is how my hair look, y'all. And this is how my little, my little locks is done. Yeah, I wish I could just put it. I wish that this is a, my whole head was locked. So it's gonna take some hours to do, but y'all look at that. It's gonna be so cute. I'll see y'all later. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Today is that day. I'm super excited because today is establishment day. Y'all, I've been waiting on this since forever. Ever, 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 y'all. I'm so excited. I'm finally getting my locks, my sister locks, okay? So I'm I'm about to get um, get it done within the next half hour. I'm supposed to be there at seven in the morning. So I'm all dressed and ready to go, y'all. When that alarm hit, I didn't push snooze. I was ready, okay? Your girl was ready. So I got my outfit on. Let me show you the outfit today. So this is what I'm wearing, y'all. I got on some. I just got my sister's like, it's the locks for me. Okay. I'm super excited. I know my locks ain't going to be done today, but I still wanted to wear the shirt to represent. You know what I mean? I wanted to represent. I now just threw on some um comfortable pants. So I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. She ready. She ready. She ready, 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 ready. <laughs> so, y'all. I'm excited. Can't wait for it to get done. So, um, when I get there, oh, when I, I today, I'm in Columbus. So, I have to drive two hours away to get this establishment. Um, but she has other um, salons in Cincinnati where I can get my retides done at. So I'm super duper excited about that. But I was willing to get my hair established. She is the owner. So that makes me feel very, very comfortable. But um, she is um, she is Sister Lock certified. Okay? So you can't get no better than that, y'all. I have been searching, searching, searching me forever to search for a Sister Lock um, technician. So y'all. You got to do what you got to do, okay? But anyways, I'm, about, I'm on my way over there. I got my bags. Let me show you all my stuff. Oh, let me show you. I even bought her a gift. And let me show you all her gift. This is her gift, y'all. Just a little relaxation basket where she can relax at home. Because, you know, they be doing their work. They be on their feet for hours. 
ours. Ours is some house shoes in here. You got some um, uh, shower gels and body creams. Even some, some, what's these things? I don't know what it's called. We put the little sticks in. Um, so yeah, I think that was pretty nice. A pretty nice basket. I got this from Amazon. Y'all want to know it's a gift basket. So y'all, I am getting ready. I'm going to get a head out the door and you will see me there. I'm going to try to do little clips of my hair. So I'm going to just let y'all know my hair is medium. I have medium density hair and my hair is about five and a half inches six maybe six inches right now six inches so if y'all want to know i'm gonna give y'all all the stats okay all the stats but i'll see y'all in the next clip hey y'all i'm finally here finally <laughs> my hair is still wet because i was in the shower so okay. it's still damp that's okay that's okay. So I'm taking my hair out. Okay. <laughs> so y'all, this is uh, my loctician, Hi. Um, Tiana. Yes. Right, I'm saying it right. Her name is Tiana and I'm finna get locked. Y'all, this is my establishment day. So I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> super excited. Okay, you can just, oh, do you wanna just, you can start while okay. I'm doing it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So first we're gonna start with your sister lock grid. So that's the parting, the squares, yeah, the sections that um that you should have. Okay. And this just helps with the versatility. You can part it anyway, section it anyway. This is symmetrical, so you wanna start with that first. Okay. I know this this takes a while because I hear heard some people say it takes like sometimes an hour. Yeah. I'll be like, what? I but mean, that's okay. Yeah, long as yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because you want to get it right. <laughs> it takes time. That's what they be looking at, the grid. Yeah. You know, the, the parts and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna ask her a few questions as she's doing that because you know, sometimes things people be, you know want to know some information about the you know the sister lock technique or or uh, how the locks are established mm -hmm. so the number the first question i had to ask is uh how many clients do you currently have you saw didn't you tell me you didn't like which like between 180 and 200 180 and 200 but that's both places okay yeah both um, that's a lot of clients and you have been open since when well i've been full-time for the last three years but i was doing it part-time first oh, okay um so let's see 2018 is when divine look was really established okay yeah so she's the owner you guys if you didn't know um and what what um what comes with the first retightment in the package? What comes in the package? Sure. So your consultation comes in the package, your install, uh -huh. your first retightening, and your install kit comes with the package. Okay. So the install kit will consist of a clarifying shampoo, um, sea breeze, which is something that I added to my kits, um, rubber bands. Um, you also get a certificate mm -hmm. and a receipt, of course, for paying for your package. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me why you do the uh, the shampoo, Sister Lock shampoo. Why don't you use that? Or so the Sister Lock shampoo, I do like it is to help the locks kind of settle. Mm -hmm. They you they put something in their clarifying shampoo that helps the locks settle, but it's hard to get. Oh, okay. So, oh, you did tell me that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes it can be hard to get. Um, so depending on, you know, how many installs you got coming in, you might start with it, but then, so then what happens when you got to wait to get a kid to do right. the install? Right. Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, how much do you charge for retightening? Retightening is 35 an hour. 35 an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, 
how long is your average lock-in period like? For install or retail? For install. Install, my longest one was 27 hours and 45 minutes. Woo! That from that <laughs> long hair? And my, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, 20 inches. Dang. Mm -hmm. And what, cool. and what about the uh, retightening? My retie, my longest retie is five hours. She's in the Columbus, like she comes here. Um, her hair is to her bottom. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a long pull through and then she has a lot of locks. And she come every month. What? She is my longest one. She does not want to trim, cut, nothing. Now, okay, so let me so the longer sometimes the hair grows, um, as far as the length, that does adjust your retightening time. So even if you keep up with coming monthly, mm -hmm. what happens is as the lock gets longer, the pull through is longer. So it takes time. Wow. She got a lot of locks and long hair. Wow. She's thinner at the top a little bit too. So I can't go as fast at the top as I would in the back um like how fast i would be able to go so i have to kind of take my time too my goodness mm -hmm. i'd be like man cut these locks no you wouldn't yeah i'd be <laughs> like if they down to my butt my hand <laughs> that's what they all say and then their hair start growing and i don't know i've seen a couple of them on youtube like that so i don't know yeah, well, they we gonna see what you do uh, yeah, we gotta see what I do. Y'all know how I be saying some I'm stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know, man. You might be like, uh, uh I can't, I can't trim a little hair. Yeah, yeah, probably. She said that client said when she trim, she cutting them all off. She is not gonna cut. Really? Mm -hmm. You mean cut them all off? Like, like start? Yeah. Not even. It, well, I don't know if she'll start over. She just said like she don't want to trim. If how she, long she had them? At least 10 years, 11 years. Oh, wow. Mm hmm Danger. Uh-huh. You ready for that? Girl. <laughs> you got 10 years in you? I, I, I'm sure I do, but as long as I've been waiting on these things getting get installed. <laughs> so, um, what products do you recommend I use after my establishment? Like, So, after the establishment, um, I do... I, this is my little way. So let me say that. But clients are allowed to use a water-based leave-in conditioner. Okay. Minimally. Um, so you can use water also to gently spray and moisturize as well. Um, yeah. And so some people do like an every other day kind of mist. Um, I like to tell clients to leave their hair about 75% dry after spraying so that way you're not drenching your hair mm -hmm. um but just giving it enough moisture um you know you don't need too much just so this just water just only. Only. Yeah, like a or a leave-in water base so it's got to be liquefied it can't be like a cream okay mm -hmm. and when you say leave-in water base mm -hmm. liquefied leave-in yeah like so, so is it mixed with something bottle. typically it's like a liquid Okay. Versus, like in a spray versus in a curl but, dryer. Because I've heard people say, you know, liquid with con little conditioning. No. Like you could put it, mix it yourself. No, you? no. Oh. It, you buy it like that. It's like mm -hmm. a luck, but it's like water based. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Water okay. Based. Yep. Leave there. Just water making based. sure. Yep. So, good. um. And water. You can always use water. Okay. Awesome. So how long have you been establishing Sister Locks? I'm 29. I took the class when I was 19, so it's been 10 years. 10 year. years, okay. It will be 10 years in April, because I took their class, I believe, in April when I was 19. It was in, it was in Cincinnati. Well, it was at the airport, so Kentucky, Cincinnati. Okay. Yeah, so it's been 10 years. So um, how long does a typical consultation take? I would say... Ooh. 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the questions that the um, Person client may have mm -hmm, in the conversation. Um, I've added a little step to my process, which is that debriefing, which is kind of how me and you discussed and talked at the beginning 
when you mm-hmm. were booking the console. And I think that sometimes that helps cut down on time just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, just giving people a heads up kind of what's going to happen at the console and all that. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so about, I had one last about an hour ago. Okay. Um, and I think the ones that last longer are maybe for clients that um, are not sure if they really want them. Oh, all the way, yeah. So, okay. yeah, so they have more questions. They want to see the sample locks a little more, you know, things of that nature. So, um, how do you prep for an installment if somebody wants to get it and never don't know what to do? Sure. So, you would definitely um, shampoo your hair. If you would like to do your last deep conditioner, you can. Mm -hmm. Um, If you're going to color, make sure you color prior to Mm -hmm. um, because you don't know the next time you're going to be able to color um, and how your hair is going to take to the locking process. And then after you do all of that, you want to make sure that you thoroughly rinse. Once you thoroughly rinse, no added heat, no added um, products. Um, and no added mist sprays or anything like mm-hmm. that. And then from there, um, you will just detangle your hair. You want to make sure, guys, that you detangle from the ends to the roots because a lot of people automatically start at the base, like the root of the scalp. Uh-huh. You want to start at the ends. That way it's easier and you're not like wanting to put something in your yeah. hair. Um, but you can always just take a regular spray bottle um, with water and just, you know, reapply it and then keep detangling. Okay. And that's it. Um, if you have longer hair, you want to make sure you at least two strand twists, two, three, or something like that. So that way you can sleep and mm-hmm. go to the lactation in the morning or whenever you mm-hmm. supposed to be starting. <laughs> and that, um, that you, you do that too on, on, um, on your consult, um, Consul- consult, yeah. Mm-hmm. Consultation. Yes. Because I yes. remember you told me the same thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. You so, want to do that for the consultation because mm-hmm. Sister Locks has more than one pattern. And you want to be able to make sure that you can thoroughly see the person's texture and density. Uh-huh. So that way you can choose the pattern best for them. Mm-hmm. But if it's product on it, I can't really tell what your right. state is. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do you have it where... Um, Somebody had come to you with super thin hair mm-hmm. or damaged hair? Damaged, yes. Okay. Super thin, no. Not like see-through, no. Okay. I mean, thinner, Yeah. but yeah. not like super, you know. But you can't get sister locks established if you, even mm-hmm. if you have damaged hair. No, you may want, like, if it's damaged, like, mm-hmm. this, this length is 9 or 10, this length is 3, Oh, okay. wanna, so you, yeah, you kind of want to trim probably. Okay, so you um, would do some of the damage that. hair off. Okay. Now you can start um, Sister Box with relaxed ends. Oh. Mm-hmm. As long as you have the two and a half to three inches of new growth at the roots, then that person can have relaxed ends. Now, the difference with the relaxed ends is there's two different textures because now this is super straight and your natural is growing in. So the person definitely has to be okay with how that will look do you suggest that though that they come and relax have relaxed hair i think i think the person has to be okay with it because it really looks different yeah I see like it. it really looks different and it so, takes longer to lock too if that's yes, that yeah that yes, stage okay yeah. so for me i would suggest the person as long as they're happy with how it's going to look mm-hmm. um then yeah i'm okay with it it's harder to start though for us. Okay. Yeah, because the hair is so straight. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I believe that you should try to start as close to fully all natural as you can. Mm-hmm. Um, so that way the struggle is less. <laughs> right. Right. You know, the struggle is less. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, how uh, how do you how do I prep for a wash? For a shampoo, um, typically I help my clients prolong their shampoos Mm -hmm. by teaching them how to clean their scalp in between with sea breeze and witch hazel. Um, It prevents a lot of buildup or dandruff or dryness or flaking 
because a lot of people go through that scalp detox mm -hmm. um, because they're used to a lot, a lot of products. Mm -hmm. So um, I do teach my clients to do that. And with doing that, you can probably get away with shampooing your hair at the three week mark after an install. But what you would do is kind of braid and band. Um, and so you would actually take sections of locks and plait them together, mm -hmm. fold the ends, put an elastic rubber band or a thick hair tie on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. um, I suggest my clients dilute their clarifying shampoo a little bit, spray it on. Okay. Um, that way they are more prone to um, um, do less manipulation and really just focus on the scalp area. Mm -hmm. So if you dilute it, you're going to spray it on. You know what I mean? Um, and just focus on the scalp area. Okay. Um, no shower, shampoo. And um, that is because the water pressure from the champ from the shower head is too much for oh, okay. premature locks. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that you are in a kitchen sink, utility basement sink, something like that. So that way you can um, make sure that you are... Taking your time. Okay. And you have more control. I think in the shower, we singing, we doing all this other <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Music playing, talking to your husband and the kids. Yeah, like, yeah it's just too much. Mm -hmm. So you're more prone to go ahead and put that gel in your hand and just go to town. Mm -hmm. um, and you just want to make sure that, you know, you are, you know, taking your time. Okay. I would say you could do about two shampoos. You may not get as much of a lather. As you would when yeah. it was loose at first mm -hmm. um, until it locks. Um, and then, you know, over time, you can start doing it, applying it differently. Um, I would say about two shampoos. A lot of people use like a t shirt, microfiber towel, um, regular towel, towel blot. Remember not to um, use any cream based conditioners, no moisturizing shampoo in the beginning. Because it softens the hair follicles in the hair. Um, you'll want to make sure that you um, let it air dry a little bit. Okay. I have seen people use a blow dryer, though. You've probably seen that on um, YouTube also. Mm -hmm. If you need it to dry faster. But yeah. if you just in the house, you can let it air dry a little bit. Um, when it's time to take your plaques out, you'll want to make sure that you kind of separate the locks yeah. at the roots. Mm -hmm. And there you go. That's it. And that's <laughs> that. Now, when when your hair is locked, you don't have to do all that, you know, braiding. Um, I would say, say, depending on the length of your locks, to make sure that your scalp is getting clean. Some people's hair is just that thick that you just still need to, like, do something. Okay. Um, I think some people don't have to, um, but I think the braiding does keep it controlled for you. And it's easier for you to get in there and really yeah. make sure your scalp is clean. So, I mean, 50-50. Okay. I would say 50-50. Some people don't. They can't wait to stop braiding and banding. I but know. then some people have been locked for 10 plus years and they still braid and band. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they may not band it at the end, but they platinum it. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what problems can happen short term or long term if your locks aren't taken care of properly? Um, they could definitely break at the roots um, of the lock. They can break in the middle of the lock where the thinning. So, if you haven't been keeping up with reads on your retail schedule, I feel like um, you can force clients to kind of not force them, but <laughs> you can put people on a schedule. Um, but then there's a point in time where each client can't go past a certain limit, okay. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so there could be breakage. They could just fall out. They could just break. <laughs> um, you can have a lot of slippage, uh -huh. which means that the locks are not settling. So they're slipping out. And right. that can happen in three places also, the root, the middle, and the end. Mm -hmm. Um what else? I think a client can just be dissatisfied with the process. I think it could be disheartening if they are not keeping up because of what they're seeing compared to other people they may see that right. aren't keeping up. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more question. Okay. How much do you, you how much do you charge for the establishment establishment or per inch of hair? Yes. So it is twelve hundred for four inches of hair. 
And after the four inches, it's a hundred dollars each additional inch, but then that covers your install package. Okay. So that's your consultation, install, and your first retail. So what's the most somebody have paid for that? And if they have long hair. Have you had anybody have long inches? inches? Yeah. So my I want to say I was at, well, I went up on my pricing. Uh -huh. So um, my biggest install price was $2,500. Woo! Yeah, $2,500. That yeah, that was my, I was like, wow. I'm, you know, that was really cool. That was really cool. I'm getting my hair cut. I'm yeah. girl. <laughs> cut my hair. No, you're not. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to cut my hair. See, girl, that's a long time. But, anyways, do you have any more tips to share with anybody? That's um, make sure that you choose the consultant for you. I feel like that's a that to me is a big thing. Um, I feel like clients choose consultants. Cons the consultants also choose the client. Okay. So make sure that you do your research. Make sure um, that you ask as many questions as possible. I think Miss Bethany, I was so shocked when she came to her console because I've been asked a million questions, but the questions that she was asking were so good and detailed. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is what it should be. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you watch videos. Some are good, some are bad. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie about that, but yeah. um, make sure that you just ask thorough questions to make sure that you're comfortable yeah. because this is a permanent hairstyle. Yes. Um, and so you wanna make sure that you're comfortable with that person. You trust their work mm -hmm. um, and they're doing everything to 100 and percent 150 200 percent um of a good job for you that you will be satisfied at the end so yeah. that's it <laughs> okay y'all so that was it and we're going to show y'all pictures along the way of how my hair is going and everything so i'm super excited y'all and y'all gonna see the end result and everything but thank you tiana You're for your right time on, and so y'all we'll see y'all in the next clip all right Okay, we are done with the back. Mm -hmm. And this is the back of her grid. Okay, y'all, keep watching. All right, guys, we are completed with her installation. Yay! Welcome to the system, Welcome to the community. Welcome to the community. If you guys see, we are going to be working on the edges. So we're going to be slicking those down. Mm -hmm. What's up, my villa? I got the sounds. Sure you like, share, and subscribe. Be love, be love, be love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.